feeling the burn. Are you? I can feel the burn, Rebecca. I'm feeling it too, and I'm Rebecca. and I am here at the Iguana Crossing Hotel in Isabella Galapagos Island. It's incredible. If you see some iguanas, go past, make sure you give them a wave. So today we are gonna work our back. I brought you to paradise. All you have to do is feel the burn and follow along. So the first move that we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the top of our map and we're gonna inchworm all the way down just to get a nice warm up. So really push down into those hands as you come to the top, tuck those hips underneath. So that's it, all the way down to the ground. Ooh, really push those hands down into the ground. Feel the strength in your shoulders and all the way up again. We're just gonna do a few of these just to get nice and warm. Ooh, it's definitely been warm here today. In the month of January, it's very hot, but it can get even hotter in the next couple of months. So if you're ever coming to visit this place, and make sure you bring cash with you because there are no ATMs. We found out the hard way. So that's it, all the way down. Take those hips underneath and stretch all the way up. Let's just do one more together. Down we go and hold it here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch either side. We're gonna work those shoulders today. You're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna feel the burn. So that's it, really feel the strength across your back. Keep those hips nice and still and across we go. So this whole time guys, we really wanna keep our body engaged, keeping those shoulders nice and strong. Anytime that you need a break, just take 10 seconds, some water, some hydrate, and then come back and join me. We really wanna keep those muscles under tension for the whole duration of the workout. Okay, nice work. Now come down to your knees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the opposite arm and opposite elbow, okay, opposite leg. So you're gonna bring one arm up and touch down. So you're really feeling it in those triceps, in the biceps and in that shoulder too. Now to make it harder, you can extend that back leg out and do the same. Make sure that your hips are on top of each other and then squeeze. Woo! Oh yeah guys, you are gonna have tingly arms by the end. That upper body is gonna start to feel nice and strong. And anytime you wanna use weights in my workouts, you can do as well. Okay, just pick them up, put them in your hand, and do the exercises just how we are here. Okay, so now just hold it up the top here, push down into that hand, really stretch out that arm in front of you and that opposite leg, and let's take it down. Okay, switch over to the other side. So lift up and down. I want you to keep those hips in line, so make sure that you're not twisting backwards and forwards. That's it, now lift up, squeeze. Think about somebody pulling your arm out in front of you and then your leg out towards the back. That's it, use that arm muscle to bring it up and down. Keep squeezing, can you feel the burn now? I know it's kicking in. It's crazy, you just don't even think that with it, without weight that you can get the same kind of impact on how your body is reacting, but you're gonna get great results, just stay consistent. Let's give me two more on this side, squeeze, and there we go, okay. So we're gonna go back to the other side, okay, but we're just gonna use that arm. We're gonna take it out to the side here and back together. So extend, out, and down, that's it. I know you're gonna to start to feel your arms getting a little bit fatigued, but we're gonna keep pushing through. I want you to finish each exercise. That's it, keep those, hat, those um, hips nice and still. You wanna make sure that they are on top of each other. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my hair out of the way here. It's kind of windy. So squeeze and down. Bring it up, out to the side, back out in front and down. Now really think about using your arm to lift you up. Squeeze out to the side. That's it, let's do one more on either side. Out, bring it down, and then back up again. Squeeze here and down. Nice work, how are your arms feeling? Give them a little bit of a shake. And we're gonna come down here, we're gonna do some super women's. Yes, they are called super women's. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your arms out in front of you, and you're gonna squeeze your elbows in towards your waist, okay? You wanna keep your feet flat on the ground. We're here, and we're just gonna squeeze in. You wanna look just in slightly in front of you. That's it, bring your arms nice and tight. So we're sliding up my mat. That's it, squeeze here. Bring those elbows in towards your chest. That's it. 
Now you're really kind of thinking about squeezing like a nut in between the back of your, your back here, bringing in those cool trapeze muscles, that's it. Squeeze here, now hold for three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go into our next set. I know those arms feel like they're gonna fall off, but you just gotta keep going. I want you to push yourself. You can do more than you think. This is all in your mindset. 80% is nutrition, 20% is fitness, and 80 and 100% is gonna be your mindset, whether you think you can or can't do something. Okay, great job. So we're gonna stay here, and we're just gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring those arms back out in front and take them all the way around. Just kind of you're doing like a big swim stroke. Bring it here and then out in front. Keep those arms straight the whole time. You want your head facing downwards, okay? Never like lift it up, just keep it out in front of you. Keep those feet close together, those legs on the floor and then really squeeze that back as your arms come down and touch your side. You can do it guys, you've got five more. Nice big breath in and breathe out. That's it, just keep counting. It's number four and number three. Go on, touch those sides. Two, that's it, give me one more. Squeeze that back and hold up here. That's it, now lift up. We're just gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're doing amazing. Keep it going. We're gonna come up back to this position and you're gonna alternate. So squeeze and squeeze. A little bit faster pace this time. Tuck those hips underneath. Keep squeezing and keep those feet nice and flat on the ground. Okay? Woo! You're doing great guys. Come on, let's just keep it going. I'm staying with you the whole time. We're gonna finish this together. Even if our arms feel like they're gonna fall off, we're gonna do this. Now out to the side, squeeze. That's it, alternating. Just put that hand back on, keep those hips tucked underneath, and then just straight out to the side. I like it, guys. You're doing incredible. We're working together on this. We're working together on those goals, so make sure you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca, after you've done every workout, because I can see where you are. And squeeze. Let's go for 10, nine, eight. You can count with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. We're gonna come back into that high plank. We're just gonna squeeze here. I know we're really testing that strength in your shoulders and your back, but you can do it. We're gonna hold, tuck those hips underneath. For three, two, one. Now push all the way down. We're gonna come up into standing. Oh my goodness, how are you feeling? Rotate those shoulders. Take a nice big breath in. Oh, and exhale, because you guys are in paradise. Yes, okay, next set of exercises. Are you gonna have your feet hip distance apart? You're gonna bring your elbows and your hands in front of you. We're gonna lean slightly forward, okay? And all you're gonna do is squeeze up and bring here. Now sometimes you think, oh my goodness, I need weights for these. But I am telling you, my arms are on fire. I know that you guys can feel the burn too. And it, and squeeze. So what you're doing is you're using your back to lift up your arms. Don't worry about your arms here. Almost like put your hands floppy like we do with our feet when we're working those glutes and use them to squeeze here. So that's it, bring your hands together and squeeze. You wanna lean slightly further forward and really think about using your back to open and squeeze up. Ah, uh, I like it guys, just think about what your body is gonna look like when you've got through the 30 day fitness challenge. And if you don't know what that is, then every month we do a brand new challenge. So you can start any day of the month. It doesn't matter if it's on the first or it's in the middle, it's at the end. But every month you get 30 minutes of new exercise every single day, apart from Sundays where you're gonna get a tasty recipe. Okay, so it's super easy. Just sign up on the link above. Woo! Okay, breathe in and out. I like it. Woo! You just got a few more minutes. We're gonna conquer through. We're gonna get all the way through this. We're gonna do 15 minutes because I know that you guys can do it. So lift this, those arms up and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. I know those arms are killing, but let's keep it going. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring one arm up. It's gonna be kind of a 45 degree angle. We're just gonna squeeze up. 
That's it. So using those shoulders, those that back muscle to really bring that arm up. I know you can't feel it right now, but trust me, we're going to do a few of these and you're going to start to really get those back muscles nice and developed. It's going to help with your posture too. So lots of people ask me, how can I get taller? Well, once you have stopped growing, it's going to be all down to your posture. If your posture is nice and cool and you've got a nice strong back, you are going to have inches rather than just being hunched over like this. So this one is going to be really great for working that little bit of extra height by improving your posture. Okay, so now we're going to take it halfway and squeeze. That's it. If you want to add weight, you know, you could put like two, five, ten pounds if you're super strong and bring those arms up and down. That's it. Okay, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep smiling, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to take them out to the side. That's it. Really use that back to squeeze it up and down. You can feel it, let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take it back down to the ground. We're gonna go back into those super women's, okay? But this time, we're just gonna bring it to halfway. So we're lifting that chest up, looking straight down in front of you, and to halfway. Oh. You gotta get through this workout, guys. The more minutes you do, the better the workout's gonna be and the better results are gonna be. But make sure that you know that your results are made in the kitchen. So nutrition is so important. And Alfie and I have also got that covered for you too. Okay, so squeeze it. Come on guys, use that back to open it up. I know that the second time round you can really feel it and that's why we have gotta keep on pushing through. So here, hold. That's it, just an isometric hold. Squeeze it up. Oh my goodness, my arms and my legs and everything is on fire. My shoulders are on fire. And let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, bring those hands in. We're going to push up into that high plank. So that's it. Just hold it here. You're going to have your feet about hip distance apart. And I'm going to go back to touching the opposite shoulder. Okay, so just get nice and comfortable. We're going to go a little bit further and challenging ourselves. So if any time you want to come down to your knees on the next section, you can just come down to here. Okay, but if you want to try a little bit harder, what we're going to do, okay, we're going to extend one arm up at a time. That's it. So stay nice and still. Those hips don't move. And all we're doing is we're lifting one arm up at a time. If you want to come down here, okay, make sure your feet are flat like this, and you're going to do the same, squeezing in those abs. So those of you who want to challenge yourself, let's go up onto the top and squeeze. That's it, feel nice and strong. Try and go a little bit faster. Test your balance. And then that's breathe. I like it guys, you're looking great. Stay with me for three, two, one. Okay, back down onto your knees. Just rotate those shoulders for me. We feeling good? Give me a high five, I like it. Okay, so back here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna cross out and back again. That's it, so we're just stretching out those arms and a little bit of a stretch in the side there too. And we're just gonna keep on that burn. I want you to not stop any time, just keep moving your body. So instead of like pressing pause and taking like a two, three, five minute break, okay, just have a little sit down while the video is still going for 10 seconds and push through. Yes, that's it guys, because you are capable of more than you know. Okay, so next step, we're gonna go back into where we started, straightening up, straight in front of you. That's it, one at a time. Who wants to add in that leg? Are you feeling brave enough or are your arms hurting too much? Let's take it. So we're gonna alternate this time. So that's it, squeezing it, taking a little bit more out of you, working that coordination as well. And breathing in and out. Woo! We're gonna feel so good when we've got through this, but we've gotta get through it first. And extend that arm up and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you've guessed it, it's the same on the other side, but you are so lucky because there's just 60 seconds left to go. So we've got eight, seven, six, push down into that ground for four, three, two, one. Okay, back into that high plank. Okay, we're gonna squeeze down here and bring it back up. So it's gonna be a half a push up 
and then all the way extended. This is your last bit, guys. I want you to keep on pushing through. Stay nice and strong for me. Now hold it down here for five, four, three, two, one. All the way down, stretch it up. That's it. Come back into that high plank, okay? The last 10 taps. Are we gonna do it together? Yes, you're staying with me. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Squeeze those hips underneath. Push your hands so far into the ground. Give yourself a smile. And on the way back up, push your hands into the ground. And as you stand, you can give yourself a pat on the back because you guys did incredible. You crushed 15 minutes of an upper body workout. Make sure you check out the rest of the workouts. We've also got amazing vlogs from all the places that we travel to. We want to see you guys around the world. Follow me on Instagram to see all the fun adventures that happen to Rebecca Louise Finnis. I'll see you guys on the next video.